All right, so if you have uh, completed the section mentioned here with the LED right from here, and if you are successful to get 12 volts coming onto this line at this place, it's going to come all the way to this section now. This is the section where switching takes place. This is the place for TX RX switching. So instead of using a relay for switching, this board is version 2. That means it uses transistors for switching. And uh, a very small section to, be, to, to just have a look at what all goes into this section. You got tip 31 here, a tip 32. Uh, this is 4148. A, a diode comes here, the one here. One resistance at this place. You got another resistance here. And there is one more resistance right here. That's all that this section comprises of. So pretty straightforward. What you got to do is once you connect all the the connections, uh, solder all the components as mentioned here. Uh, this is a small pin given for PTT. Now this is my PTT and what I have done is uh, taken the connection from beneath uh, and later on I'll, I'll kind of uh, do a proper connection. So just to have a look at it, point 0.1 and point 0.2 for the PDT. So this is ground and this is the connection which is coming right from the base of the pin that I mentioned. This is the pin here. Now tip 31, if you could see, is facing this tip uh, transfer. So these are facing each other just so that you don't get confused when you're putting them. Make sure they face each other and this is how it look from the side. And the view from other side and as you could see here are a couple of jumpers that you need to put for different voltages it's all mentioned on the board it's, it's printed in the silk uh, screen printing what each segment is for to start with you just need to connect 12 volt TX and 12 volt TRX no point in putting a receiver supply right now once this is done just follow the track so that you give power to the relay as well which is sitting right on top of the board, left corner. This is a relay for switching between RX and TX. Make sure you put all the jumpers for connecting. So when you press the PTT, this relay would get actuated and you'll get that audible click sound. That kind of sound would come if your switching circuit is working properly. So stage one was power supply part. This is what you need to complete to begin with, stage 2 is your switching circuit. This is your tip 31 and 32 section along with this relay which will give you a confirmation whenever you press the PTT this should make a click sound. There should be a, a click sound. That's it for this section for the time being.